Hello guys, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be reviewing a roll of filament from Amol and Tech. At the time of recording, this filament is on sale for $35, which is a little bit steep for a roll of filament. I can normally buy an average roll of PLA filament for $25 off Amazon. Since I bought this fillet from Amazon, it was shipped from an Amazon warehouse. I'm pretty sure Amal and Tech sells filament on their own website. I was surprised to see that they had custom boxes even though they were a smaller company. When I opened the box, the first thing I saw was a thank you note, which is always great. And they also had the filament very professionally packed so there'd be no tangling. Right, I, as you can see here, there was, the filament was professional and there was no tangling, which is always great. Tingling can completely ruin a good roll of filament. To test this filament, I'm going to be printing one small item, one medium size, and one large item. For the first item, I'm going to be using my normal settings I use on my stock Ender 3. One thing I actually noticed after I printed it was that it was only one color and that was because the filament changes every 10 meters. That's why the second print will be a little larger. My first impressions are actually pretty good. It printed just like normal PLA and during the day it looks just like white. Now let's test it in the dark. I'm sorry but the footage from the dark was actually pretty bad because of the low exposure. It does look a lot brighter off camera, but I'm also not going to color correct this part so it will be as genuine as possible. Also you guys might wonder, might be wondering why I'm using a UV light, it's because on their Amazon page they actually advertise that a UV light will result in better glow. This is a side by side comparison with a UV light and no UV light. The UV light just makes it a lot brighter. And again, the one with no UV light also did look good, just the camera doesn't capture it as well. The second thing I'm going to be printing is an enlarged Benji. I'm enlarging it so I can see all of the colors, all three colors instead of just the green. And again in this one, I'm just going to be using all my normal Ender 3 settings. I know I left supports on. I know my 3D printer works, so I'm printing this to test the glow, not really a 3D printer stress test. Right around here, I actually did have a slight air shift. It's not anything too big. Uh, just like the skull, I see the quality is really good. But the one thing I noticed is I can see the infill. So I'm probably going to turn up my wall line count for the third print. In the dark, just like before, this is going to be completely raw footage and I'm going to be using a UV light. One 
one major thing I did notice is that with the UV light you can see the reddish color a lot better. So in the last thing I'm printing, I'm going to be using all my normal Ender 3 settings except for more wall lines. This is actually a pretty large print, but because the last two results were great, I think this will also do great. Everything about this print, including not being able to see the info, was great. The only thing that happened was a slight warp in the back corner but I think that is just because my bed leveling was off just as the last two clips the quality in the dark is not going to be great and it's also raw not surprisingly the color was the same as the last two. I'm not sure why it showed a lot more blue without the UV light. I think that might just be my camera. My final thoughts are this film is actually pretty good. It's what I would expect from glow in the dark. A lot of people said that it breaks your nozzle easily. I haven't seen anywhere. If there is, I'll let you guys know in the description. Thank you for watching. I actually started a compilation 3D printing Instagram account. So I'll leave that in the description if you guys want to follow it.